Hi folks, I'm Nikki from the University of Wolverhampton and over recent months I've been helping you to keep an element of creativity in your homeschooling curriculum. And over the summer I'll be mixing it up a little with some creative craft based techniques. Today's tutorial is an introduction to the art of string or chain pulling. It's suitable for any age but it's particularly useful for making backgrounds for pages in art journals or sketchbooks. And the fun thing is it can be adapted for any wet medium and can be figurative or abstract. Let's take a look at a really quick and simple way to do this. You will need paint, acrylic, watercolour or even fabric paint, a ball chain or piece of string, paper, ideally a sketchbook or journal, water, optionally a palette knife or spoon, some PVA glue to thicken up your paint and a heavy book. The simplest technique to start with is to dip your string or chain into some paint. I'm using acrylic here. Dangle it over a page in your sketchbook and lower it onto the paper, allowing it to fall into an interesting pattern. Leave one end overhanging the edge of the book. Now close your book and apply pressure. You can do this with just your hands, but it may be easier to start off using the weight of a heavy book placed on top. Now all you have to do is pull the end you left hanging. This will draw the paint across the surface of the paper and result in swirling patterns. Another option is to use more than one colour on the string or chain at a time, for example red and yellow. Or you could repeat the earlier steps with two separate colours and do an over -pull. If you're using watercolour paint, make sure it's thick so you're using more paint than water. And if you're using something like this, which comes in a tube, you can use it straight from the tube. A good tip is to apply a wash of clean water over the surface of your paper before you start. Then before it dries, dip your chain or string into watercolour paint and dangle over the paper, allowing it to fall. Close the book, weight it down and pull. You can do this with more than one colour. When you open it, you'll see a far more fluid pattern where, depending on how much water you use, the paint will bleed and spread across the surface. Of course, you could use this technique in a figurative sense to make an image resembling a butterfly or flowers, for example. This time I'm going to use acrylic. I'm going to first paint my page with a mixture of white acrylic and PVA glue, which will make it more workable. You can just choose to use PVA if you like. While the surface is still wet, I'm going to loosely outline the shape of a butterfly. I could do this with a hard line, but in this case I'm just using dots straight from the tube. And I'll add two or three more colours just for interest. Once I'm ready, I'll place the end of the chain in the centre and hold it down with my finger to anchor it. Then I'll wrap it around the outline of the butterfly and drag it back in towards the centre, pulling the paint with it. You can use a spoon or a palette knife to scrape away excess paint, which can be repurposed to make a body and antenna. It should result in a swirly butterfly with lots of movement. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that we've given you some ideas to liven up your sketchbook pages. Follow our Facebook page for more creative tutorials for all ages coming soon.